Swifties, we all woke up to shocking, and I mean shocking, Taylor Swift news. I mean, let's be real. Taylor Swift completely dropped a bomb on all of us and did the unexpected by announcing that she would be releasing TS8. That is right, her eighth studio album tonight. And not only that, she gave us title album cover, track list, we're getting a music video all in one. <sighs> There's so much to talk about. Let's get into it. Taylor Swift sent out a tweet saying, surprise tonight at midnight, I'll be releasing my eighth studio album, Folklore, an entire brand new album of songs I've poured all of my whims, dreams, fears, and musings into. And just like that, our entire world blew up and we all started going bananas. Taylor went on to say, most of the things I had planned this summer didn't end up happening. By this, she's talking about her postponed Loverfest shows, Loverfest East and West, that were supposed to take place this weekend and next weekend. And obviously, all of us Swifties are bummed that we can't celebrate Lover at Loverfest the way we wanted to. But holy dang, we did not expect this though. She then added, but there is something I hadn't planned on that did happen, and that is my Ave Studio album, Folklore. Holy sh! I wrote and recorded this music in isolation, but got to collaborate with some musical heroes of mine. And from the sound of it, Taylor's album Folklore will most likely be more of a singer-songwriter styled album more similar to Red versus a heavily pop produced album like Lover or 1989 or even Reputation. She mentions working with Bon Evier who co-wrote and sang a song with her on the album titled Exile. Aaron Desner who co-wrote and produced 11 of the 16 songs. William Bowery, who also co-wrote two with her. Although there is a theory that William is really Joe Alwyn. And of course, she also worked with Jack Antonoff, who Taylor notes is musical family at this point. Taylor ended her post by saying, Before this year, I probably would have overthought when to release this music at the perfect time, but the times we're living in keep reminding me that nothing is guaranteed. My gut is telling me that if you make something you love, you should put it out in the world. That's the side of uncertainty I can get on board with. Love you guys so much. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, this is very different from anything that Taylor Swift has done before in order to promote her album. Usually we're seeing cryptic posts, Easter eggs, I mean, you name it. I mean, we've even been evaluating timestamps. To me, the way she dropped this album was completely unprecedented. Did not expect it whatsoever. And here's the thing, it sort of has that element of surprise the way that Reputation did. When she introduced Reputation to the world, she deleted her, her social media posts, she sort of started from fresh, we saw the snake clips, etc. So this almost feels like a different type of promotion similar to Reputation. She also shared the album cover, which is totally different from anything we have seen her do before. The colors are black and white, similar to Reputation, but she's further away, has her hands in her pocket, she's wearing a long coat, and she's looking up. Very, very different from her past album covers. Taylor notes that Beth Garibrand also took the photos. All the pics are very earthy, subtle, and relaxed. But that's not all. Taylor already revealed the track list composed of 16 songs with a deluxe version, including a bonus song called The Lakes. All right, here is the track list, guys. Okay, so The One, which I think is gonna be a love song. Cardigan, which we're gonna get a music video to. The Last Great American Dynasty, which I think is gonna be similar to Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince, just based on the title. Exile, which features Bond, that one sounds pretty interesting. Um, and the track five song, My Tears Ricochet. Holy moly, like what the hell, like that sounds so sad already, just like the title itself. So, oh man, we're gonna be crying tonight. Mirrorball, 7 August, This Is Me Trying, Illicit Affairs, Invisible String, Mad Woman, uh, Epiphany, Betty, Peace, Hoax, and the bonus track is called The Lakes. Guys, oh, all of these names are so good. Like, I have no idea what to expect from each of these songs, but I just know that I cannot wait to like really dive into those lyrics and just like learn them and embed them into my soul. And if you thought the four deluxe albums from Lover were a lot, Taylor tweeted, because this is my eighth studio album, I made eight deluxe CDs and eight deluxe vinyls available for one week. Each has unique covers and photos. And yes, I bought all of them. 
But that's not all, Taylor will also be releasing a new music video for her track 2 song Cardigan tonight, which she wrote and directed herself. She said, the entire shoot was overseen by a medical inspector, everyone wore masks, stayed away from each other, and I even did my own hair and makeup and styling. Oh, wow, Slifties, there is so much going on. Like, I'm losing my mind. Like, I can't even keep up with all of the excitement, all of the news. Like, I am so excited. All right, so um, here are some updates. Um, I am st I'm going to be going ahead and reacting to the music video, which you guys will be seeing my reaction later on on the YouTube channel. Plus, I will be reacting to the song, to the whole entire album, I mean, the whole entire album. So there is still so much Taylor Swift con content coming. Coming your way. I'm so excited. I can't even talk, guys. I can't even breathe. My heart has been pounding like so hard since like I woke up. So a lot is coming. Please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about everything. Like about everything. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Love you all. If you guys want to chat more with me about Taylor Swift, hit me up at underscore Denise Salcedo on Twitter or on Instagram. Until later, see you guys later. Oh, that didn't make sense. Okay. <laughs>